Well, hello guys. I am the Squirrels Nuts, and I've got a little game for you from earlier in the week. It's on PS3, and this was the the first night after the PS3 friends clear out. So I kicked out about 50 guys on my friends list and brought in 50 new ones. And that basically meant that when I started playing, I think it was Monday night when I played this, um, that meant that I had quite a few new people uh, join this game. New friends who are obviously quite excited to be on the friends list and playing with me at last. Um, there's still people who can find me from the server name that I post. Uh, so we've got a mix really. But when you look at the scorecard at the end, you'll see that, that mix. There's quite a few people running the squirrel tag. But to be honest, I think most people in this game were uh, a subs. So it turned out to be quite a funny game, actually. Now, the subject matter of this particular game is don't lose your heli when you're defending on Rush on Damavan Peak. <laughs> it's got quite some funny, uh, funny material coming up. Anyway, so we've just ran down obviously I'm on the attacking side I've dropped into this sort of what do you call it a, a porter cabin or something I'm not really sure I've dropped in here I'm running the F2000 with a silencer uh, and a grip the silencer means I can stay in here uh, allow my team to spawn back on me if they want what I'm doing really is creating a mobile spawn point now you know as you know there's nothing worse on rush than getting your squad wiped out and starting all the way back up that hill and having to run down getting picked off. It's a nasty situation, so to be avoided at all costs. What I was trying to do there was just make sure that I give my team a spawn point on me, or my squad if you like, in between those two MCOMs. So I just hung around for a bit while we tried to get a plant down. Um, obviously, you know, eventually we got killed and we came back around the, the right hand side as you're coming down the hill. So we've come round for a sort of flanking move. And I'm just trying to get round the back here, but I can't. So I sort of work my way towards this uh, this BM comp to try and get it planted. But things, they don't actually work out, unfortunately. No matter how many times you shoot some people, they actually just refuse to die. Well, and in that particular case, it was a dual kill. I killed him, he killed me. Fair enough, he gets revived, I'm screwed. Anyway, so, um, yeah, what I want to talk about in a second is, is the helicopter, which is some hilarious footage. But while, that, while we're waiting for that to come, there's some other things that I want to talk about uh, tactics-wise on, on Damavan Peak, or any rush game, I suppose, really. Obviously, when you spawn off, off the, um, the very, very first attack, particularly on this map, you've got to run down aggressively and attack these MCOMs. If you don't, then... If you let the defenders set up, as you come down that hill, you're really going to start getting picked off. So that's essentially what we did. We just, essentially, I, if you saw me earlier in the video, I just ran straight down here and tried to get ourselves um, hey, on a footing, if you like, near their MCOM station. And like I say, if you don't, you, it, it really can be quite a tough um, hill drop, that can. And particularly snipers' favourite is to just pick you off from you know, the safety of their own spawn. Unfortunately, we didn't seem to have anybody on our team um, dropping smoke. And I decided to play uh, a reviving healing medic, if you like. So I didn't, I didn't crack out any smoke. And, um, well, unfortunately, the support guy, Ham, I don't think he mortared that much in this game. So smoke would have been useful, obviously, to try and, you know, obfuscate our, our attack. But, again, I've come back down this right-hand side. I'm just trying to get an attack vector, if you like, back on this BM comp. We've already taken A out, but this time we've managed to get in here a little bit more successfully. So we take the MCOM down, and then really, it's just a mop-up exercise. You've got to be sure that you've cleared this area. Now, we were all talking on Skype, including people on the, on the other team as it happens. And I know that what they're about to do is nick our helicopter, <laughs> which they managed to do. I'm busy mopping up and reviving and healing and all the rest of it. And while I'm doing that, they, as you'll see in a second, they managed to get our heli. See, look, that guy tried to get around the back again. Important to clear up, otherwise he'll just pick you off. We've already lost a few tickets now. But anyway, yeah, so they've got our heli. Um, but you'll see what happens. It, it, It's quite bizarre. I don't really know what happened, to be honest. But somehow, 
they manage to, I think they get shot in the heli. But I see one guy running away from it. Um, maybe he's a bit frightened to fly the heli. I don't know. Here, here we go now. This is it. So I think somebody gets shot out of that heli there. But I couldn't swear to it. And then... What? Why did that... There's a guy in the left. Why did he not just go and run for that heli? I mean, okay, it's damaged. But it's not below 40%. It's not... You know, it's going to repair itself, basically. So I decided to jump in and just take the hell off and get out of there and let this thing heal back up. Fortunately, um, Kofalov on my squad, he comes back as an engineer. And I think once Ham gets, gets uh, wind of the fact that I'm also in this heli, he comes back as an engineer. And they start um, repairing the heli as I'm flying around. Which, as you'll see in a second, is... This is going to be a real lesson for, for the other team now. <laughs> because I pretty much spanked them with this helicopter. But it does get funny as the whole team starts to turn on the heli. You'll see in a second what happens. So here we go. I'm coming in for my first sort of run. Now the first thing to say is it's not that easy being accurate um, on the PS3. I've done this on, on the PC and it's so much easier to make those micro adjustments. So if you're a PC guy don't be thinking I can't shoot because I can shoot it's just on the PS3 it's just not quite as simple give it a go and you'll see what I mean anyway so it's time to keep sort of ducking down trying to get out of line of sight popping up you can see the RPGs coming in, but in a second they'll start cracking out the stingers I just start picking them off while I'm doing this though my team is making advancements they're moving in on the end point so this what actually happens here really to be honest the end result of this is that we take these two MCOMs mostly because I'm in this heli. I'm on my own at the moment, so I've got to be really careful. But if this is enough of a distraction, never mind killing spree, but this is enough of a distraction for our team to push forward and start arming the MCOM. You can see we've got one down already. But now the Skype chat's really kicking off. People are really starting to get a bit pissed off at this point. So Coldflow's in there, he's trying to RPG some people, I'm just mincing people up. We're getting the MCOM planted. And I think it's round about now that they start to get a little bit annoyed and start getting locked. So they obviously switch, <coughs> they, excuse me, they obviously switch to the Stingers in an attempt to take me down. But to be honest, they should have already had them out by now because I, I'm causing mayhem here. You know, this is a lot of damage, and, and in rush, you know, it takes a while to get the spawn back, doesn't it? So, every guy I'm killing is one guy out of action for quite a while, unless he gets revived. But I'm causing a lot of panic as well. They're sort of running around, sort of not really knowing what to do. But I know you guys are watching this. If you were on the defending team, <laughs> why don't you tell me what this was like for you? Because, for me, this was um, obviously quite amusing. But... So the guy you left the heli out, seriously, if, if you didn't get shot, then that was a mistake. If you did get shot, then I feel sorry for you. But, um, yeah, don't give the attacking team a heli. And this is why. You'd think, now if I was then, in all seriousness, I'd have had the stinger out by now. Or a soul flam and a javelin. I'd have had something. You can't allow this to continue. Pass after pass after pass, and now we get the lock. I mean, how what, how long was that? That was quite a while. You see, we put a counter up there now. This is where it really starts to get funny. Pretty much, everybody on their team starts to pack stingers and go for this heli. Well, I've got Coldflow, I've got Ham. They're both in here, reviving. So reviving. They're both in here repairing, while well, I'm just causing more and more mayhem. I've been hit by one, I'm trying to flare as best I can. You hear that? I just managed to duck that one out. The problem is, is that... Can you see them lined up there? Look at that. Just look at that. Watch the counter here. <laughs> People are screaming, laughing over Skype at this point. This was absolutely hilarious. I was trying to just get out of line of sight, stay alive. Ham and Kofler repairing like lunatics, getting loads of points for it. 11 stingers, and the only reason, the only reason we eventually got taken down is because Ham and Kofler 
the Ruperto will only last so long and then it kind of times out. And it timed out. And it just happened that Turret got the last stinger in. And he laughed down the Skype just saying, oh, mother, thank you for that. I got me 600 points. And I just said to him, you know what? It was absolutely worth it for that. It was just a hilarious situation seeing their entire team line up on the end of Demovan Peak and stun stingers there. It was absolutely great. Anyway, back to reality. <coughs> We get one MCOM down and the other one's planted, so, you know, they've come in from, from the cliff phase, but it's all over. The two MCOMs are now pretty much there, aren't they? Yeah, here's your med so that's what it cost them, that heli. We traded the heli for two MCOMs, which when you're attacking on rushes, it's always worth doing. You get their heli, you've got a fantastic attacking tool, and they've lost a fantastic defending tool. So, you know, if, don't let it happen, and if the attacking team gets the heli, go out of your way to take it down. Otherwise, this happens. Anyway, so I'll let some of that background footage repair while I talk about some other things. It was This is a, quite a fun game, this. Uh, unfortunately, we don't quite uh, manage to, to win. But it was a great game. We all had a lot of fun. Uh, and like I said before, Skype chat makes a huge difference. Which brings me on to my first point. I believe we're going to get a patch on the, 5th, oh, sorry, the 6th of February. Uh, for PS3 only, I think, and that's just to fix the voice issues. It's a 20 megabyte patch, and it fixes the voice issues that we've all had. And, you know, the real reason that I'm using Skype and all the guys who join me using Skype is because the PS3 chat is utterly, utterly broken on Battlefield 3. Now, they say they fixed it. Mm, maybe. I'm slightly sceptical. But in all honesty, even if they have... Um, I'm I'm kind of inclined to stick with Skype if I'm honest with you. Um, you know, it, let's assume they get it fixed and working. You're going to have squad chat. Well, I'd rather have team chat. All right, so you can flick it, you can change it so that your chat is heard across the team. But that requires everybody to to start switch, switching to team chat. Will they do it? I don't know. Probably not. Skype's just so much better, you know. But having said that. One thing I am considering, and I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but how about if I rented a TeamSpeak server? So, you know, at least 24 slot TeamSpeak server. And that would mean that, um, you know, we could all go into the TeamSpeak server. Instead of Skype, we could log on a nice high bandwidth TeamSpeak server and chat that way. It'd just be a different client. Uh, I think you can get it on Mac and Windows. Don't know about mobile phones. Some people use Skype on mobile phone, that's why I say that. But, yeah, what do you guys think about that? Would, would TeamSpeak be a, a better option, or should we just stick with Skype, or, dare I say, give the PS3 voice chat a go, even though that would mean I can't record it. That's the downside. Let me know. All right, on my last video, uh, some guy said, when are you going to do a Q&A video? And I said, leave a thumbs up if you want me to do a Q&A video. Well, about, well, over 50 people certainly said, or thumbed it up and said, yes, we want a Q&A video. So... On my next video, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to answer questions. So I want you to leave me your questions. Now you can do this on the comments in this video if you want. Leave your question there. You can go to the Facebook page. And uh, what I'll do is I'll post on the Facebook page. And just leave a comment underneath with your question. That'll make it simple for me to, to flick through. Or if you want to, you can tweet me uh, with your question. Finally, if you want to, you can email me. My email address is on my Facebook info page and it's on my YouTube channel. Any of those will do. Send me your question and ideally your you know, gamer tag or uh, PSN ID or, or you know, however you want me to read you out. I'll say the question is from such and such. Who do you want that to be? And don't be silly. Don't say, like, you know, questions from Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I'm not reading that crap out, okay? Keep it keep it clean, keep it sensible. I reserve the right not to answer all questions. Um, I don't mind what they're about. If they're, you know, something about me or my history or favorite games, my favorite class in Battlefield, things I'm looking forward to, anything like that, really. Anything that's not, um, not too personal, if you like, um, I'll answer. And we'll see how it goes. Just leave your questions. I'll flick through them, pick a load of them out, and get them answered. 
Don't ask me about my computer specs or what software I use, that kind of stuff, because that's all on my channel page. Just go and look on my channel page if you want that kind of technical information. Now then, that brings me to another point about my Facebook page in particular. My Facebook page has something like 270 likes and I have 166 followers on Twitter, but I have over 3,000 subscribers. That's quite a low percentage of subscribers who are actually liking the Facebook page or on Twitter. Um, and I'm kind of curious as to why that is. I'm not really sure why. The, the reason I'm saying this is because I am quite keen to organise some events for uh, my subscribers. You know, some, some things uh, in the game or certain games on a certain day. And I've got some ideas to do some stuff. But I don't really want to make a video just to sort of gather the troops, if you like. I'd rather just go to my Facebook page and say, right, there's an event on Thursday night, this time, on this platform. This is what we'll be doing. You know, come and join in. A lot easier if you only have to post it on my Facebook page. So I can ask you now, if you fancy doing that kind of thing and you're on Facebook or you're on Twitter, then you need to follow me because... That's where I'm going to post these events, and if you want to be in the event, and trust me, it will probably be pretty fun, uh, and you'll get on YouTube. If, <laughs> if you want to be in it, then you need to like my Facebook page or follow me on Twitter so that you'll pick that, that, uh, that event up, and then come and join us. There's no reason not to. Why not have some fun with the squirrels? Become a squirrel. Yeah? We have a lot of fun. We play this game for fun. We're not, you know, we don't take it too serious. Um, yeah, there's, there's certain teabagging going on, and yeah, people are always after my tags, and when they kill me, quite often they teabag me, but you know, it's all in good fun, I end up teabagging them anyway. Inevitably I'll kill them and teabag them back, but <laughs> it can get a bit tiresome after, you know, I've had some games where I've had a couple of guys just literally spending the entire game trying to get my dog tag. <laughs> And I have to keep checking my six all the flipping time because I know what they're trying to do. Look at this heli. I wish I could repair that. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm not an engineer and nobody in my squad's an engineer, so damn it. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the dog tag thing. If you're so inclined to get them and, you know, get it out of your system, come and get my tags and then let's move on, okay? <laughs> it's no big deal. But I'd rather you play the objective, I'd rather than your own personal objective, if I'm honest, because if there's one guy in your team just running around trying to get my tags, well, he's not really doing his job very well, is he? Um, but yeah, that's a personal choice, if that's what you want to do. Can't stop you doing it, can I? Uh, yeah, so I've had a fairly busy week, not got many videos of this last week. Um, stuff at work's getting a little bit busy, but things should pan out in the next couple of weeks, and then I'll be back to normal. I'm going to switch to the new YouTube channel layout um, in February. Not by choice, I have to say. I don't really like it that much. I think it, you know, put the old one's perfectly fine. Uh, and the new one, but I have to, because they're moving on March the 7th, I think it is. YouTube are forcing us to go to it, so I'll have to come up with a new background and switch to that. But, uh, you know, whether, I don't know whether you go to my channel page that much anyway, to be honest. Uh, I'll probably just pick up the subscription feed and watch my next video. But that'll be doing that, so when I do put the new background up, I'll, I'll tweet about it and say, Whoa, hello, go and look at my awesome, awesome layout. <laughs> anyway, like I say, it's not by shows. 29 tickets left in this game. Um, they've got these corridors locked down fairly well, I have to say, so yes. Although this team did give us a heli and paid the price, they managed to hold this set of MCOMs quite effectively. There's not that many attack vectors on this. There's the central corridor, which is protected by a tank, and then there's the two corridors down the side. And they're quite easy to sort of lie down, snipe down, support, gun down, all this kind of thing. And what we really need is, is that heli that we had back there. If we had that, we could have come over the top and around the back, and that would have been a different scenario altogether. But it didn't happen. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we can't break through here. Anyway, have we got anything else? Uh, oh, Xbox, I'll try and get on the Xbox this weekend. I've not been on the, as I say, I've been pretty busy, so I've, you know, all my platform gaming has suffered quite a bit this week. I managed to get on PS3 earlier in the week, and I was on PC on Sunday night, but apart from that, I've not really been on much, to be honest with you. Uh, but I hope to rectify that. So I'll try and get on the weekend. As usual, I will post on 
That's me, teabag. <laughs> Revenge teabag. I will post on Facebook and Twitter when I'm playing, as soon as I know. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping to play Friday night, but I'm not sure. And I'll definitely be on at the weekend. But I will let you know. So you can see we managed to get the MCOM planted. Um, I was going to get the little bird, but I saw somebody else taking it. So I thought, I don't want to come in as a passenger. I'll spawn back in my squad and try and get the other MCOM down. But with 12 tickets left, it's tricky. It's tricky. It's a bit of a, um, what do they call it? A clusterfuck? But that's exactly what it is in here right now. We just couldn't keep the squad together in there, no matter how hard we tried. So we're back at the spawn, which means we've got no chance. Not with half a dozen tickets left. So yes, um, that's it from me, mostly. This game is all but over now. I hope the VoIP issues are fixed on PS3, but do let me know if you'd rather, if you think as I do, we'd better stay on Skype or TeamSpeak server. If you think that's a good option, do let me know. It's only going to cost me about a fiver a month, so you know I'm really not that bothered. If it, if it means our gaming would be that much better, and it wouldn't just be for PS3 either. Um, you know, people on Xbox could use it if they want to, although probably don't need it on xbox but certainly on pc we could use that instead of skype as well um team speaks quite good i've used it before anyway let me know what you think leave me your questions and i'll get them answered that's all from me if you like that rip roaring heli video then give me a thumbs up take care guys and i shall see you soon